Guild Expedition Level 4 Oceanic Future Part 2 in Forge of Empires. The first four platforms of level 4 of the Guild Expedition in the Oceanic Future are covered in the first part of this little video series. Today the platforms 5 to 8 are solved, which are more challenging. Platform 5 Wave 1 In part 1 I already admitted to Pfefferize a combination of hydroelectric eels and turtarets. The strategies mentioned there will be applied here again. The yields start with hiding themselves in the bushes, intentionally not using their right to hit first. With the turrets, I first target the opponent's turrets before these can hit our units. Of course, I try to add damage to as many other units as possible. On the other side, I have to accept the loss of one unit. This depends a bit on the map and can be avoided sometimes. But the loss of one unit against wave 1 is not a problem on this platform. The start of the battle against wave 2 is exactly the same. Hide the yields and let the turrets target the opponent's fastest units first. The battle is self-explaining and will not need many explanations. We already know such encounters from part 1 of this video series. We can be happy with the result. Platform 6 Wave 1 Many players say that Platform 6 is extremely difficult. With this platform it is important to recognize that both waves only contain fast and heavy units, except the single ranged unit in wave 2. Light units of the Oceanic Future have a bonus against fast and heavy units. In this case I prefer the Scimitar with its Dragon Breath compared to the Manta with its chance to poison a target. The skimmeters have always to move onto the very next tile close to the target, but it never receives retaliation damage. Best is to have three opponents in a row so that all of them can be damaged in a single move. The more you can use this effect, the less difficult this encounter will be. With a little luck, this battle against wave 1 will end without losses, but in the example shown I lost 2 units. Against wave 2 the strategy is exactly the same. Although the opponent mainly has heavy units instead of fast units, due to the specific bonus of the skimmeter against heavy units they do not receive much damage when hit, but they deliver severe damage when attacking. Skimmeters have an attack bonus when standing on rocks or in a house. This effect cannot be used often, as the best location depends on where the target is standing. The significant advantage is that they do not receive retaliation damage. Therefore this battle does not have surprises and mostly independent of which of the possible fast or heavy units is used by the computer. As you know this varies every week as the oceanic future has two different units per category. Platform 7 Wave 1 at platform 7 we will again use the well known mix of fields and turrets. The number of rogues should match the number of medusas. In wave 2 the computer uses 3 medusas, so I use 3 rogues. The yields are needed as the computer has flying units. In some weeks the computer does not use flying units at all then you can replace the yields by turrets. In case the computer has turrets, these have to be eliminated first. 
the battle always varies a bit, depending on which conversions occur to the rogues. Hide the yields in bushes to avoid early losses. The biggest part of the task will be done by the turrets, especially on those opponent units which are located very close to each other. Normally, in all possible variations, the battle against this first wave should be completed without losses. Against wave 2, again hide the yields in bushes, but in a way so that you can hit the medusas, in a way these cannot fire again in the second round. All other opponent units are very slow and so they can wait until round 2. You need to be careful with the order of attack targets, but beside that, this battle does not contain significant challenges. Platform 8, Wave 1. On Platform 8, the second wave contains artillery only, with only changing the split between turrets and medusas. We already know such fights from other ages. The same platform in the contemporary era worked with the same strategy. A single flying unit has to make its way up to wave 2 and the battle will be won. The flying unit of the oceanic future is the glider. The strategy is a mix of a wild attack using the swarm ability of the gliders with a careful approach as we need to let at least one glider survive wave 1. Everything else doesn't matter, including the number of lost units. Against wave 2, I simply press the automatic fight button. I will lose my turrets anyway and the glider cannot lose. Part 3 will come soon to show the battles on platform 9 to 13, which again are showing something completely different.